Yo, what's going on guys? I am Taz and this is my first video. I'm going to be showing you how to install the Streamlight TLR-1HL flashlight on your handguns. Um, I'm going to install it on the Glock 19, but it does work for most of the Glocks that have this, um, this rail system underneath and also for the um, SIG uh, P320s or the same that have the rail underneath as well. So first I will show you that we are clear. There's nothing in there, no magazine. So we are good there and we'll get into it. Okay, so all you will need is the flashlight, a coin, and if you aren't doing it on the Glock, um, they send out in a package a little Allen key wrench. Um, pretty much all you do is you go ahead and unscrew that. Um, a screw will come out uh, you, you go ahead and take you take that Glock piece out uh, where it says Glock because this is the mounting piece for that little slot right there. So if you're doing it for like a SIG or a 1911 or um, like a Picatinny rail, um, you would just unscrew that, take that out. And then underneath there, uh, you can kind of see it. That little piece in the middle is like a threaded um, threaded nut. Um, you would take take that nut out. Um, change out this piece it would say like p320 or whatever that comes in the packaging um, you just put it in the exact same way thread that thread that back on there nice and tight and then you'll be good to go for your p320 1911 or picatinny rail so the first thing you want to do you want to go ahead and unscrew that so i already have it unscrewed all the way so you just unscrew it all the way right it's pretty simple so you have that notch right underneath you want to put this this uh the thing that says glock right there you want to put that notch in the same groove right there so i'm going to push this in because that it makes it extend out so i'm going to push that in there set it right in there kind of like that and there you go that's pretty much all it is um you just one more time just go ahead and push that in set it in there Make sure it's good on both sides. Make sure it's latching right there where it's supposed to be. Uh, you'll notice there's not really any movement. Then you go ahead and hand tighten that. Hand tighten this screw. Take your coin. Uh, this is a dollar coin. It works with a quarter or like a nickel, something kind of thicker. Put it in that groove and just go ahead and tighten that real nice and tight. Um, I, when I was tightening mine, I noticed, or I heard kind of a, like a, it was kind of like crackling or like scratching. Um, it's just tightening down on the polymer frame. Um, that's pretty normal. Um, go ahead and hear that, but there's that. It's nice and tight. Now it's not moving at all. Um, some little control usage up is constant on. Uh, down is uh, manual or momentary on and then if you flip down um, it gives you a strobe light but it's also it's the same thing for the other side just in reverse so then that would be uh, up would be uh, momentary on down down would be on and then if you click it twice it'd be strobe so that's it pretty simple um, just want to show you really quickly